There are several ways to subscribe to uh, streaming services on Roku and the way you subscribe affects how you manage and cancel your subscription. You can pay and manage directly through Roku. Everything is done through them. You can pay through Roku and manage the uh, subscription through the, uh, the streaming service provider. Or you can pay directly to the uh, streaming service provider and Roku has nothing to do with it. For example, Netflix, if I press the start button on the Roku, here are the options I have. I can move the app, I can restart the app, check for updates, remove app, and so forth. If you don't have anything about subscriptions there, then Roku is not doing it for you. It's the service uh, stream provider that's doing it. So with Netflix, I do everything through them. I have my account online and I cancel or subscribe to them on their website. Prime Video, occasionally I'll, I'll, apply, or I'll subscribe to them. But right now if I click on the star, you can see I don't have that option. The one subscription that I have right now through Roku is uh, the Peacock app, NBC. And I already did it because I uh, enjoy watching tennis and they have some matches that I, go, I don't get on my other uh, channel with uh, Spectrum. So notice if I hit the start button while I hover over this app, I have the option here again to move the app, check for updates, and I do have the option for manage subscription. So when you have this, that means you did it through your Roku account. And of course you do have to have your credit card on file with Roku. So that way you can you can rent movies, say Prime Video or other uh, apps. You can even buy them or in this case subscribe. So when I did this about a month ago I uh, at the start of the French Open I went ahead and subscribed using my uh, Roku account and it was about five dollars so I have till July the, the 1st. So this is what it looks like if you have a subscri uh, subscription like this. So I click the OK button and notice this says this sub subscription will no longer auto renew. You can continue to use it until July the 1st. And the reason it states that right now is because I went ahead and uh, canceled it just uh, earlier today. And what you will have here is uh, auto renewal. And it tells you that it's, it's going to auto renew every, every month until you cancel. So now because I went ahead and canceled, I can still use it. And that's usually what I usually do. When I, when I have a, something like this, it's just going to be a, a one month a sub, a subscription or sometimes it could be like five days or, or so forth. I go ahead and use it for a few days and then I go ahead and come, out, come here and, go and cancel so that I can go ahead and uh, not be charged. Cancel the auto renewal is what I do here. And then you're good to go. Now it's, it leaves this on there, so if you want to come back and resubscribe, all you got to do is click on this, and it puts you back on auto renewal. So if you don't, if you don't uh, cancel, you'll be charged another. Uh, well, actually, actually, it was five dollars to start off for the first month, but then from then on, it was fourteen. I think it was fourteen ninety five per month. But this is the way you cancel it. Now notice. And the other apps, no matter which one it is, when you click on the start button, you do have the option to remove the app. So I can remove this app, Prime Video. I'm not being charged for it. It has movies that you can watch with, uh, with ads. There's movies you can rent, movies you can buy on this, uh, this particular app. Now what's going to happen with 
the Peacock app. Go ahead again, click on this, the start button. When July the 1st comes around and the subs uh, subscri uh, subscription ca uh, is canceled, then you won't see this manage subscription here. It'll give you the option to, to remove the app. That's the way it works. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.